fucking Pharaoh. Just waiting for a bus. I'm tired, so excuse me, my tired face. But um, I'm in my funky jumpsuit waiting for my bus because I don't want to take any taxis. I'm not paying 10 euros for a taxi for a five minute drive. No. So if that's not gonna work out, then I will walk. It's only an hour. I'm just gonna burn all the calories that I've eaten. There's a lovely cathedral in a in an old town, but um, I went the last year, and to be honest, I don't want to pay for it again because um, it's not worth it. No, I mean, it's beautiful and it's worth the go, and then you've got a lovely view, an old town, a marina, but I just don't think that it's worth me paying that money okay, again. So that's the cathedral. You can go like up there, up there, and then you can see the whole thing. Um, the whole old town and the marina from the top. Um, yeah, if you're here, it's worth going, but how I said, not going twice because, well, I'm on a budget this time, well, as always, so I don't really want to spend money that I don't have to. And I'm gonna sit over there and try to draw that. I thought I would share with you my little tip. So it's now 10.30 and just now it's starting to get busy. So I think that what, like that's my observation. Wherever you go and it's a hot country, people don't go out till like 10, 11. So if you want nice photos or like nice shots or you just you just want to go around without any tourists, too many tourists um, taking photos and being in the way then just get up early and go and explore like honestly there's nothing worse than people in your way isn't there so yeah i'm enjoying and i will show you later what i've done made a friend <laughs> <laughs> beaches in porto are all fishy and yeah. dirty anyway that beach is not fishy or dirty. We're not in Porto. Porto, I love you. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but um, that is one of the islands of Faro. A little lighthouse. Took us 45 minutes on a ferry to get here. And it's worth it. It's like 10 euros for a return ferry from Faro. So. Had a swim in the sea or an ocean? What is it? I should know. What's around Faro? Is it ocean or is it sea? Do you know? We don't. And no, we don't care. I'll show you what's behind me. Look at that. Who cares if that water is a sea or ocean? I don't. There we go. Real desert. We're going to check what's that. There. Do you think it is? What do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. But there we are. I did record that before, but I did not record it. So there we go, obviously. It is some kind of weird sculpture. That looks like a bone. And there. We wonder if we can go to Lisboa. Lisboa. On foot. It's just 223 kilometers. Can we do it? Can we do it? She says no, but we can choose and go. I will show you where we can go. We can go to Rome, we can go to Amsterdam, New York, Paris, Rio de Janeiro, Madrid, London. We can go wherever we want to go. How lovely! We go to Faro, <laughs> and she says we can go to Faro. That's where we're gonna go. But we're gonna go this little path now to explore the rest of this deserted island. So nice! Honestly. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off so I can enjoy it. <laughs> okay, that's question to Zoe. Zoe, what is this plant? You will know what this plant is. Is it fennel or anyone? It smells like fennel. It's, a little, it's, it's everywhere and smells amazing. And look at this path. Like, I'm just gonna be love with it. I could live in here. Have a little wooden 
house in there and just smell this. So if you are in Faro, or you're gonna be in Faro, make sure that you're gonna come to is it Ilha Ilha Deserta, if I'm saying that right, because it's beautiful. It's worth spending 10 euros on the ferry fare because it's absolutely amazing. It's not just my opinion; she thinks that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she, yeah, how happy she is in here. I'm happy in here. My friend over here got a fun fact about zebras. <laughs> there she is. Zebras know. Wait, how do I say this? Zebras know each other not by name, but by the design of the stripes of each zebra. They're all different. None of them are ever the same. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know the zebras got different patterns and they just know each other because they just they just recognize different patterns. Clever little. Um, I just want to say that this island is a part of a national park and so um, you can take a ferry, you can buy a ticket, like a day ticket and um, I think there's like four different islands so then you can pay like 30, 30 euros for a ticket and you can hop off on any um, island and hop on, on any ferry to different islands so then you can do like a little tour um, I think it's four islands, and but then you've got the whole day to do it. I didn't want to uh, buy that ticket because I've been to one of those islands, and I don't want to rush anything. I would rather spend a day on the island and then spend another day on another island, and actually, it's gonna cost me the same amount of money. So, but if you are here just for a day or two, I think it's a good idea to. Um, just get a uh, the 30 euros ferry. Sorry. Look at that. What is she doing in there? <laughs> We're trying to get a picture of them. Made another friend. That's Joseph. Say hi. We're in Lagos now. Hello. <laughs> so happy. Um, it's really hot today. My hair isn't pink anymore. Um, a new buddy. Oh, we have a new buddy now. Where is he? What's his name? Henry. Henry, the dolphin. Um, we wanted to go kayaking, but apparently now we're going in the boat, so why not? Let's do something touristy. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, you're so, yeah, I had a little accident. I was trying to sit on the chair, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> And then well, I was like, chair and then you my bum. <laughs> we had a big earthquake in Portugal many years ago and some big stones. So uh, they have destroyed already. Oh, oh, I definitely want to come swim here. What do you want to do? I want to swim here. So Mary went home. Well, not home. She went to Lisbon. And now I'm by myself in Lagos. I'm going to go for a swim and then have my dinner. And my dinner. It's very delicious, good bananas, melon and apple. You don't really want to eat when it's so hot, like I could just live off fruits. Maybe I should turn into a raw vegan. Uh, no. I don't think that I could go that extreme, but I definitely could eat only fruits, especially when it's so hot. So yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> 